this that you guys had this. So number one, that 82 inch TV I was telling you about is 3D. Um, yeah, there's 3D support for the game, absolutely, including multiplayer 3D support. And then also, one question I have for you is. Uh, what about color blindness? You guys have some cool setting in there for folks that have trouble seeing the, the blues and the. Yeah, there is a there is a color blind option. Uh, it's actually kind of enhanced from the version that we did in Black Ops. You know, obviously the game is uh, uses red and green a lot to indicate enemy and friendly. In fact, just as a quick example of some of the choices that you have in this options menu as a caster, you know, you don't have to use these map colors. You can actually use the team colors. So now, you know, those are the, the now we're using blue and orange, which represent the oh, faction yeah. colors, right? So. We spent a lot of time and work trying to make sure that people have some options for colors, and if you're uh, if you have some color blindness, uh, there's some ways for you to still enjoy the game without necessarily uh, struggling to uh, see what's going on all the time. Because usually, yeah, it's Christmas colors. Usually, it's red and green, right? Yeah, red, so. green for friendly, red for enemy. It's a very common convention, uh, you know, in all right. video games, not just Call of Duty. The uh, yeah. So that was one thing that that, that happened. The YouTube. Live streaming yeah, we announced the YouTube live streaming today. Um, very cool feature. Available in League Play. You'll see the League Play option. Just go in there. You turn it on. Well, you uh, got to have a YouTube account, of mm -hmm. course, and a YouTube channel. You got to link your YouTube and Call of Duty account. These are very easy things to do. Uh, and then once you have that set up, you can actually live stream directly to your YouTube channel or as part of your profile on Elite. And that's a really cool way of looking at it because then the stats of the streamer are all there and linked. And it's a really cool way to enjoy the live stream as well. Both of those are available to players. There's no extra cost. It's just a, it's a part of the game feature. Um, and there's some restrictions, of course. You have to have some players actually watching your stream to activate your stream so that we don't have a million people all with no viewers. Uh, you know, so we do some things. And it's a shared network, so there's some business rules around that as well. All this is explained in the terms of service that you'll see when you activate live streaming on November 13th. I hope to see a lot of people uh, playing league play, live streaming their games. I, I have, I've got, I've set up my office so I can basically watch <laughs> all these streams at once. It's gonna be really cool. No, I, I am uh, looking forward to it. He this like is our new launcher right here. I, I really like the, the 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 look of that thing. Just really easy to spot, identify, and find those score streaks to shoot down. T A Rex here is a team player. We'll actually switch back to your guy though. Gamespot Live. Gamespot Live represent. Aaron Sampson, you want to think about getting your hands on this controller here? This upcoming round, maybe? Six minutes and 50 seconds. And you can be playing, sir. All this can be it. yours. <laughs> that, that looks like a guess. Oh. What the? Oh. oh. I gotcha. Uh, I got, well, you can play from over there. Yeah. <laughs> so there's concern about Aaron leaving the station and yeah. making sure everything's working right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're live. We'll yeah, he, you know. You can play and watch that thing. So this is a great way to stack up. Now, see all these score streaks that are up there in the world right there. And uh, he's got the engineering perks so he can actually see them. And uh, what I like to do here is actually take the PDA hack, uh, the black hat PDA, excuse me. And that thing's really awesome. Uh, you can actually destroy these or convert them to fight for your team. And uh, it's a really uh, a black hat PDA combined with the engineer uh, those two things stack together in the pick 10 system and and you'll just confuse the hell out of the, the team who thinks they're being all crafty with their score streaks and uh, why you uh, take them out or make them fight on your behalf. So is that, is that in place of like like strip like my hacker perk style? Yeah, so we always try to visualize the gameplay where we can. Mm -hmm. So um, the you know it, it's it's a little more is actually a, a device that you hold in your hand, press the left trigger and then there's a progress bar on it. So depending on what it is you're hacking, it might take a little bit of time or it might hack right away. Something like uh, you know, a shock charge, you can hack instantly. Something like somebody's uh, you know, UAV, you have to, it actually takes a while to hack. Um, so those, that's how we kind of can balance that, that mechanic. And it's just a little more engaging than just pressing and holding X, right? You can right. see the progress bar, it's a 2025 gadget. It's just a lot of fun whenever you can visualize the gameplay, I think. No, yeah, that I, I okay. <laughs> what is? Don't 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 stand three guys on a flag. I, so we're taking a break. Yeah. Um, That's made for TV moment right there. I think. So we can we can clearly see that the uh, Gamespot Live and his uh, his squad 
Yeah, in first place, so with a very commanding 261 to 140 lead right now. As it should be. Not really at risk, uh, and and uh, a lot of a lot of good players here. If actually, I'll, I'll bounce out of this view for you real quick. You can see, you can pull this toolbar up so you can see the controls at any point in time in case you get mixed up where you are. And we'll take this off, and we'll actually put the regular scoreboard up, and you see it's a pretty domineering uh, mix right here. Okay. 52. Uh, 40, 40, to tw 40 kills to 24 deaths and 5 captures and 17 defends. So all sorts of score going to uh, TA Woofy and GameSpot Live or, you know, right here. Whoops. Uh, people get any special achievements we run across you guys online? Uh, if they run across us, yeah. I couldn't possibly tell you that. <laughs> okay. That would be, uh, that'd be classified intel. That is a... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Taylor off to the side right here. Uh, uh, Mr. Taylor is my, what they call a PR handler. Uh, he makes sure I don't say anything terribly stupid. Uh, uh, a, P, a PR handler is a very important person to have. Uh, he was pointing out that we should be on the lookout for uh, the emblem that's on uh, some of these guys' guns. Hey, Robert, who had that? Do you remember? Was it Wolfie? Uh, I missed it. So, yeah. I've seen this question come up more than a few times, so I'll ask you. Obviously, Black Ops is part of MLG. Do you know if Black Ops 2 right now, MLG is planning to have that part of their upcoming season? Yeah, nothing's been announced yet. Um, I'm, uh, you know, we're, we know those guys really well. Um, uh, you know, uh, MLG Sundance, who's mm -hmm. the big dog there for MLG, he's actually a good friend of ours. And uh, as we get a little further in, right now, um, you know, I think a lot of people are really curious what's going to happen with the game uh, after we release. How are we going to be supporting it? But right now, it's always about getting the game out in the hands of people, getting to November 13th, getting the game live, and then we'll come around and you'll be hearing all sorts of stuff about how we intend to uh, support the game after we release it. And you can count on us. You, you know, if you're a Treyarch guy and, and you know uh, you know Treyarch, then you know that we'll be all over this. Uh, in fact, you'll be sick of me. I'm sure. I'm, cer <laughs> I'm certain of it. Impossible. I'm certain of it. Impossible. We, uh, we uh, I definitely, uh, whatever, it's like, you know, not even, you know, it's like, Black Ops, I think, is a special game for a lot of people, obviously. It's a game that, I mean, think about, it came out in 2010, right? How many games came out two years ago that we're all still playing? And, you know, it's like, that that game is, you know, there, there, there's, there's something, spe something special about that game. The one question I have for you that you guys did better than the other one, certainly, is just, like, uh, what you allow for your multiplayer options. So, for instance, four-player split-screen co-op, that's something you guys do still, right? Yeah, there's, um, the, you know, there's local split-screen, there's two-player split-screen in public matches. Um, you know, certain playlists have uh, split screen disabled, like League Play, of course, uh, and it's something that we can put on the appropriate playlist so people can enjoy with their little baby brother or, or however they need to do it. I mean, we know not everybody's got two TVs and two consoles in the household. Right. I know that split screen, uh, you hardcore fans that are watching, I know, you, I know you're all over me about the split screeners. Uh, and <laughs> because they, 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 they don't... They don't uh they don't they don't condone the split screen. Well, I think uh, you know the hardcore fans. Um, they they find that uh, when two split screeners are together, they uh, may or may not represent the best skilled players right. on the planet because they're sharing a big screen. Now, if they had a big 82 inch television like this about. one, this, <laughs> this is bigger than most people's TV, even with split screen. Right. So what we're saying is, you should buy a better TV. They, a bigger TV, no. certainly. Yeah. No. So you know, um, it's it's a it's a you know, look. It's it's a, about accessibility. It's about making the game accessible to lots of people. Uh, you don't run into it that often. Get off my back. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I know, you know, I know. For me, like you know, Black, Black Ops was the game that I got crazy about, like trying to figure out, like, all right, so why is it sometimes when I come around the corner and I shoot and like you know, it seems like that guy's ahead of me, or whatever, right? And so it, it took about five minutes to realize, like, all right, well, if you're playing with two dudes on one, you know, the internet connection there, and then and then I got so far as to like looking at like the length of HDMI cables and if mine's shorter, right, <laughs> <laughs> less time for the signal to get to the TV. So I've got to be shooting faster than the other guy in front of me. But uh, but I know that game, not just for myself, but a lot of people, we got crazy about in terms of the setup and exactly how it was going. And that was the thing, even with you know 3D especially, you know the idea of running it through.